Hello everyone, my name is Mike Milner and I head up product management for Trend Micro's Cloud One platform. Today I want to talk to you about something that you may find exciting or possibly terrifying, a new project starting from scratch, a green field. Let's get a green field up here to set the right mood. I'm a developer at heart. I love to build things. A new project has so much potential to create new value, maybe try some new technologies, learn some new skills. These days, starting a new software project usually means starting with something like this, a new AWS account. There's so much potential in all of these services, tools at your fingertips to help you bring your idea to life. But that's also maybe where you have a bit of nervousness. With great power comes great responsibility. It's also up to you to ensure whatever you build in the cloud stays secure. And I say this might make you nervous not because it's an insurmountable task. I say it because your focus is on the idea, what you want to build, that value you want to create. You don't want to get bogged down with all that undifferentiated heavy lifting. That's why you're using the cloud in the first place. AWS has a great way of looking at this called the shared responsibility model. It is still your responsibility to ensure you use the cloud securely, the security in the cloud. But AWS takes responsibility for making sure the cloud itself is secure, the security of the cloud. And this does take a huge burden off you. You can interact with all of these AWS services using standardized APIs without needing to worry about the underlying hardware itself. And with those APIs, you also get standardized tools for managing access and identity with their IAM features, fine-grained controls to limit access to your infrastructure and data. You get tools like AWS CloudTrail to track and record activity within AWS so you can audit and react to suspicious activity. There are also services that build on top of these basics, like Amazon Guard Duty, that can look at all the lower level information like network, account, and data access to identify and prioritize potential threats. So you can clearly see that AWS provides the building blocks you need, but it's still up to you to use them and to configure them correctly. And this is a key focus for us at Trend Micro. How can we help our customers secure their cloud environment without the customer needing to be a cloud security expert. It's a big challenge. And when I think through this journey, especially when starting with an environment from scratch, it's really critical to configure this cloud environment correctly and leverage those available tools. So when I think of our Cloud One platform, I usually think first of our cloud security posture management with Cloud One conformity. And I want to give you a quick look on how that works on a brand new account. From the Cloud One dashboard, you can access conformity for cloud security posture management. And what I'm going to do is connect my brand new AWS account. We'll call it Greenfield. And we're going to set it up in the automated recommended manner. And to make it easier, I'm just going to launch this stack directly. You can see here it's already set up and ready to go. I just have to acknowledge it's going to create some IAM resources and start it up. It installs pretty quickly because it's just creating some basic roles and policy. And then once it's done, I just need to grab the output, the role ARN, copy that and paste it back into conformity. And just like that, it's set up. And when you proceed, it's going to start checking your account for all of its recommended rules. Since this is a video, I'll just speed it up a little bit so you don't have to wait. And just like that, we start to get results from our brand new empty Greenfield account. So you can see even in my brand new account, 
there's already, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, a whole series of recommendations on best practices to secure my account. We talked about CloudTrail already. If I want to solve or resolve this recommendation, I can simply click here and I get a detailed knowledge base with information on why this recommendation is here. I've got lots of details on how to verify whether this is actually set up in my account. And then detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually solve this in my account through the user interface or through the API or CloudFormation template. Along with references if I want to find out more and really dig deep to understand why this is important. You can see all the basics outlined for a new account on password policy, root accounts, guard duty we talked about. This is hugely valuable information to help me secure my account. And best of all, this is evaluated continuously. So as I actually follow the guidance and fix these issues, the next time the engine scans my account, these open issues will automatically be resolved. So I always have a continuous view of best practice recommendations that are relevant for my account in the current state that it's in. You also have the option of viewing all checks based against particular compliance standards that might be relevant for your organization, including the AWS Well-Architected Framework and all of these that you see here. If I pick one, PCI DSS, you can see how the report adapts and shows you the relevant standards within that compliance framework and a view of which of your checks are relevant for that particular standard. This is great if you've got a requirement to meet a certain standard for your cloud account. So I hope that's enough to give you a quick view of what I'm talking about. This concept of having kind of an automated security coach letting you know where you're weak and giving actionable advice on how to improve. That's very powerful. And because it's automated, it will continue to keep an eye on things, even as your usage grows. And that was all just one capability within the overall Cloud One platform. If you look at the whole platform, there are multiple capabilities here to go even deeper, looking at your networks, your data, your compute, even your source code all to help you be more secure at every level, from development through to production. I sometimes hear people talk about Kubernetes, for example, almost as a, a cloud within your cloud. And this is a great example of one of the ways we can go deeper. We're not just looking at how your EKS cluster is provisioned in AWS. We're going deeper to understand how you're using your cluster, what images are deployed, how they're deployed, if they have known vulnerabilities in them. Let's take a look. So Cloud One Container Security has the capability of scanning your container images. Once you're connected to any registry, it's going to scan all the images in that registry. For any image scan, you can click in and view specific details of any vulnerabilities detected. This information is hugely valuable on its own. It can be used in your build pipeline to help developers understand issues before they go through to deployment. And it also feeds into our admission controller capability that lets you actually set a policy on what images can be deployed to your cluster. So you can use those scan results to restrict containers that maybe contain malware or vulnerable packages so that they can't be deployed on your clusters. With our new continuous compliance capability, we're extending that even further so that when container images are re-scanned periodically, we might identify vulnerabilities that we didn't know about before. Or maybe you're changing your policy to be a bit more locked down. With continuous compliance, these policies are evaluated continuously across all of your running containers so that if there is a new vulnerability disclosed or if you do change your policy, we can highlight any running containers that now violate your policy because of that new vulnerability or because you change the policy. You now get notified when you've got a weakness in your environment, something running that could be improved, could be hardened, giving you the information you need to assess and respond to that risk. 
And we bring that same depth to your applications and AWS Lambda functions, your EC2 instances, your VPC network traffic, inbound and outbound. We even integrate with Amazon S3 to monitor what data you're storing and protect your downstream workflows that process that data. And this automated capability is key. You'll quickly find as you grow that you'll start to need more than that one account. The account is a powerful form of isolation. Usage in one account, limits in one account, won't affect your other accounts. Grouping multiple accounts together under an AWS organization allows you to pay for and manage many separate AWS accounts. So you get the benefit of isolation, but you can still manage and organize all your accounts in one place. And that's where the automation really comes in. That same security coach sitting on your shoulder giving you good advice on one account, that can automatically scale to multiple accounts. And with AWS Control Tower, you can automatically provision new accounts, pre-set up with your security in place, with your Cloud One security coach already configured and running, helping your cloud users stay secure. And as your usage continues to grow, you'll probably find that you're creating new accounts regularly for multiple new projects, each one a brand new green field, another fresh account with so much potential, potential paired with confidence, that it will be used securely. If you're interested in learning more about Cloud One or anything you've heard today, or for starting a free trial, you can go to trendmicro.com slash AWS. You can find this and other resources linked in the description. Thank you very much for watching today.